Annenberg Media had the chance to interview both candidates for LA Mayor. We begin with developer and USC trustee Rick Caruso. <laughs> Last night, Rick Caruso hosted a Real Solutions Town Hall for the residents of South LA, answering questions from voters about homelessness, crime, drug abuse, and his vision for LA. Annenberg Media had a chance to talk with the mayoral candidate for an extended interview. There wasn't lack of transparency, so I disagree respectfully with the premise of your question. I was brought in as chair to clean up USC, and I did. The Tyndall is not one report, but think about this. We went to every expert when we were done. We settled with the victims. It was terrible what happened to them. But every expert told us not to release any detailed information because it re-victimizes the people. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be fair. But there's about 700 pages of information that has been on the USC website for a couple years now that gives enough information without giving details and names. And so I have been very transparent. I've been honest about it. If it was just up to me, I would probably maybe release some more. But at the same time, I don't want to hurt anybody. These people, these wonderful students have been so dramatically hurt. Let's just worry about taking care of them and not worry about releasing more information that would hurt them. Well, first of all, I've always been pro-choice. So that's always been my stance uh, forever. I never gave a dollar to change Roe v. Wade. I never gave a dollar that would affect a woman's right to choose. I did give money to Republicans. 85% of my donations went to Democrats, like a Jerry Brown, like a Gavin Newsom, right? Becerra. So you have to look at my track record, but I have never once given a dime to affect a woman's right to choose, and I never will. Yeah, just to be clear, I never announced when I voted, when I said I was going to run for mayor, I never stepped down as a trustee. I stepped down as chair, right? When I'm elected mayor, I will step off the board. Proudest accomplishment is working with my fellow trustees and changing the direction of the school and changing the leadership of the school and bringing in the first African-American woman as an interim president and the first woman president of USC. But look at what's happened to USC now. The, the wind is at the back. The university is doing great. The scandals are over and cleaned up. There's accountability. And I'm just very proud of what everybody's done. I'm very proud of Carol Fultz. She's an amazing president. We have a system that reinforces itself and isn't working. The people that are on the front lines every single day, the firefighters endorse me, that are dealing with homelessness, the police that are dealing with the crime problem, the union, the building trades that want to put people to work, create jobs, endorse me. Uh, Avance, the largest Latino Democratic club, Democratic club, endorsed me by 85% vote. I'm proud of that. But what I'm most proud of is every neighborhood I go into, the support I get. Going into the Nicaraguan restaurant today in Pico Union and hugging that, that owner of that restaurant, that woman-owned restaurant, that's what matters to me, to work hard for them. If you're happy with the way your community is today, if you're happy with your crime rate, if you feel safe, if you're happy with the homeless situation, if you're happy with the corruption, then I'm not your candidate. If you want change, our system is broken. If you want someone to fix the system and have real positive change to make L.A. more livable and safer, I'd be honored to have your vote and put me to work.